Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I need to go to the gym. Wait, that's not the gym that I'm talking about today. Let's get into the episode. <laughs> Salut tout le monde, I'm your host, Ty Roxon, and this is another episode of Use Your Difference to Make a Difference. So, when I say the word gym, what comes to mind? I'm willing to bet that you're thinking of a physical place where these bad boys exist. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I want to talk about the gym of the mind. Now, therapy is something I've been exploring for months because I believe it's one of the best things that you can do for yourself. The level of self-awareness and the external self-awareness that comes from looking at yourself and working on things that you might have suppressed as a kid or even in your adult years is so monumental to your growth, right? Uncovering your triggers, uncovering your traumas, and finding mechanisms to deal with those situations so that they don't become self-fulfilling prophecies. Now, relating that to today, we are faced with a global pandemic that has put us in a position where we have never been before. This is the whole world, whole world being arrested, everyone being affected, parents, institutions, every single level of individual and institution is being affected by this one virus. And what that brings is a lot of side effects like worries, anxieties, depression, and multiple things that really make us feel like we are not in control. So what do you do when you're in these positions? How do you deal with these things that seemingly are out of our control yet physically felt on a daily basis? It can often feel like it's an overwhelming feeling that wants you to never get out of that cycle. And naturally, we as humans, we get into this place where we get so worried that we stay stuck in the past and exaggerate what those past experiences have done for us. And we overthink what the future is going to do for us. And then we are, like I was saying, in this cycle where we're stuck. How do we find mechanisms to actually cope? That's where cognitive behavioral therapy comes into play or CBT. I've partnered up with a company called Bloom, which is basically a digital therapist in your pocket. And the reason why I love working with Bloom is that it is one, not only affordable, but it is a very interesting way of actually reflecting on yourself. They have guided journals for you to reflect on your moods throughout you know, the time they're using the app, throughout the days they use the app. But there are also interactive videos that allow you to actually practice several things. What is cognitive behavioral therapy, you might ask? Glad you did. A form of talk therapy that helps you identify inaccurate pieces of information that you're feeding your mind with. It also provides you with methods for you to cope and move past those negative behaviors. What Bloom does is that it gives you this customized approach where you decide what you want to work on. Whether it's staying present or becoming happier or feeling more abundance, you find whatever track you feel like is suited for your current mood and then you work on those videos for example one of the things that i've been working on is worry right my business is very service-based and so when the pandemic first hit i was obviously very worried i was worried about what was going to happen what that meant for the future and a lot of what was happening was i was feeling the anxiety of not knowing what was next and not knowing what was next kept me in this place where I was constantly in my head and paralyzed, right? I was paralyzed by action and paralyzed by the pandemic because it seemed like it was doom and gloom and everyone that was talking about it at the time, especially when you turn on the news, seemed to spell disaster. And so I thought, okay, finances, parents, the world, what is happening? I found myself trying to control things that I couldn't control and the inability for me to do that worsened my mood. And so I turned to the app and I clicked worry, right? I clicked worry. This is something that I want to work on. And I learned this principle, principle of stoicism. Now, stoicism is something that allows you to distinguish between what you can control and what you can't control. It basically gets you to be present. And one of the pieces of advice that they gave was as follows. Make a list. 
Yes, that was one of the pieces of advice. It says, make a list of the things that you can't control. Actually make a list of those things that you can control. And then take action on the things that you can. And it's so interesting when you actually write out what it is you can't control. And then realize that, okay, this is something that's always going to be here. But here is where I can take ownership. Because a lot of times what's happening when we're worried is that we want desperately to control something and make sure that the outcome doesn't become our worst nightmare. And in the process of doing that, we are paralyzed, like I was saying, and we don't take action. So if you get to the place where you say, okay, I'm going to practice stoicism today. I'm going to be present. I'm going to actually reflect on what I can control and what I can't control. And the things that I can't control, I'm going to take action on. Your mind starts to break out of that cycle because you're focused on a solution. So that's one. Another thing to do is to breathe. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold for four seconds. Breathe out for four seconds. Four, four, four. Not the Jay-Z album. But <laughs> what that does is, again, gets you to the present. And while working with the app, you get to see and understand different techniques that you can apply and then you track it in every mood. And I'm coming here to you to talk about this because obviously one of the, the things that are happening right now is just the idea of our mental health being potentially compromised. Because no matter what happens, however we come out of this, the world is going to be changed. Our inner worlds are going to be changed. So are the outer worlds. And I want you all to be able to cope with something that's not only one, affordable, but also something that's easily accessible, right? You're not limited by the ability for you, by the inability rather for you to actually physically see someone uh, as a therapist, you know, or go to the office. So if you want to have access to a platform and a solution that could help you as you're coping through mental challenges and you're working through growth during a time of uncertainty, I wanna encourage you to check out Bloom. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's gonna be in the description. If you're watching this on Instagram, it's in my bio, all right? It's up there, it's $4.99 a month, and it's one of the best investments that I've made, okay? Never, ever underestimate the fitness of your mind because that's how you live forever. No, I'm just kidding. That's not how you live forever, but that's how you truly become the best version of yourself. Use your difference to make a difference.